Why I love what I do is I love the idea of bringing a robot to life. So taking a bunch of metal and motors and, and wheels and gears and develop algorithms and software to um, now see something that before was just an object, now be able to act in the world and do interesting things. I haven't always been interested in robotics because I didn't have a lot of exposure to it growing up. It wasn't until I was in university in my third year uh, engineering class at the University of Regina where we had to design a robot to solve a maze from the ground up. I really love to try to solve complex problems and robotics research allows me the, the opportunity to do just that. So you're designing a problem, breaking it down into smaller problems and designing a solution. Build a solution, test the solution. This often takes a lot of hard work and long hours doing testing um, and sometimes it's frustrating but uh, when you have a breakthrough and finally see an algorithm that you developed yourself run the way it should, it's a very satisfying thing. <laughs> I enjoy coming to work every day because of the team of talented individuals that I work with. They're very bright and like-minded like myself. We all want to see robotics research progress. I get to work with some very interesting and very capable robots in basically the biggest playground in southern Alberta. And in the end, I like the fact that I'm helping to make the Canadian Armed Forces a little safer. Human-robot interaction is a really interesting area for me to uh, perform research because it's a very complex problem. Speech is the most natural uh, form of communication for us as humans, but we have a lot of nonverbal communication as well, such as gesture and facial expressions that can be used to give context to a situation. And we want to use all of that to help operate our robots. Um, trying to program these complex um, interactions is very difficult. Um, there's a lot of different cases where if we were just to try to model them all, it would become very overwhelming. So a lot of the new um, work is looking at algorithms that use artificial intelligence to try to teach these complex communication strategies to a robot. My name's Jack Collier, and I'm a scientist with Defence Research and Development Canada. You didn't say particle filter. No, I gotta get particle <laughs> filter in there. Very important.